Okay guys, this is Eric Weingart with Weingart Racing. This is a fun little test I thought I'd do real quick. This is that headhunter head you saw on some of my other videos. Um, all I'm doing today, and I'm gonna make this video as short as I can. I'm gonna flow it at 28 inches. Print For anybody that doesn't know anything about flow benches, every head's industry standard flowed at 28 inches of water. And that's just how much vacuum it's pulling. Now, the computer itself, let's say for instance, the vacuum slightly goes higher. The computer has a, a math algorithm that it uses that will correct the flow to exactly 28 inches of vacuum. Um, so let's say it cranked up to 29, the flow numbers it would show would be mathematically recorrected back to 28. Now, the switch on the Sanyaz has a 28 inches, that's what it's correcting to, or you can set it to actual, or you can set it to read it as if it was 10 inches of vacuum. That's for like car riders and stuff. So what I'm gonna do on this, I'm actually gonna flip it to actual. Okay, this will be the uncorrected number you will see here on flow. Currently, it's off. Now, over on my screen here, this automatically corrects to 28 inches. So the number you see here will be corrected 28. This is what it did before. If you notice this little blue line here, this is what I just did today because I did take off the clay and removing the clay and putting back on does affect flow um, slightly. So this is nine and this is 100, um, one inch of valve lift. And if you don't understand why I do it at that, I'd go back and watch my other videos. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flow the head at 40 inches. So see how it says corrected to 28? I'm gonna flow it at 40 inches. This will still correct back to 28. And we'll see it, what it does there. This one will show the actual flow that it's going. This port's so small, and it is small, that for those that are worried about um, would it flow less with higher depression? Well, let's just see, okay? Uh, I gotta get my ear protection on. And then uh, I'll kick her on. This one's set at 40. The next one I'll probably do is at 50. Okay, that was a great video that you didn't see because I forgot to press record, but I'll flow it again anyway at a higher depression. Let me show you. I just got done flowing it at uh, 40 inches. This is its corrected numbers. So you see it, this is the great one's at 28, that's 40. Now this is corrected. So both of them should have been the same. It actually flows higher at a higher depression, even correcting back to uh, 28 inches. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it to uh, 45 inches just because I wanna get a quick one on this and then I'll go 50. Hopefully this time I'll remember to press record so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. This will show what it's flowing, uh, not uncorrected, exactly what it is. This one's gonna show you the corrected numbers. This one will show you the uh, uncorrected numbers. So this is at 45 inches. So I'm gonna kick it on real quick, we'll go. If I shut it off real quick, it's because I'm worried about it. I think what may have happened is my clay might have got sucked in. Maybe not. Well, let's see if the trend continues. We'll go the higher one. Okay, now it's set at 50. There you're seeing the lines. I'll show you the numbers. As you can tell, the blue is where we are now. The other ones you can see. Um, I should point out I didn't move the clay and did start sucking in on the last one. So this is 50. Let's try 55 inches. Um, we'll go from there. By the way, in case you're wondering what's happening, I'm doing 900 lift and one inch of valve lift. Nine, one. Because it's so much vacuum that it really is trying to pull on the clay. If I'd have been smart, I would have made up acrylic one. A 28 inches, it won't move, but these higher depressions, you gotta move fast. So, because if it was colder temperature-wise, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. 
but when it's warmer, the, the clay is more elastic, so it tries to suck in. So, but anyway, let's try 55 inches. Okay, I'm gonna try this at 55. I just tried a second ago, the clay's trying to move in. It'll go 55, but I'll probably only be able to do it. You can see how I started. This is at 55 inches. We'll just give it a shot, kick it on. If I kick it off, it's because it's the it's trying to suck the clay in. So I gotta, I'm really am moving fast. Anyway, here's our uncorrected numbers, corrected numbers. It might take a while to spool up too. Here we go. That one actually was a little worse. You could see it there. Now I'm not saying it because it's flow wise. It could be just because of the clay. Cause I mean, it, it, this is tough. Um, I really should have just done a machine entry. I really should have, I did this test, but we'll try one more time at 60. We'll see if this bench mows it. I'll try to push this back down, but it's what'll happen is it's like this, but as you see it, I've seen it. This side will start sucking in this way. So it's like closing off its entry. Um, anyway, I know clay, but usually it works. Like I said, 20 inches doesn't really have a problem with these higher depressions. We'll give it a shot at 60 and then I'm probably gonna call it. We'll see what happens. All right, let's try again. All right, I've given a shot at 60. I maybe have only do the 900 number. Um, we'll see. I stopped the test because the bench wouldn't get there. If it's 55, that's all it's got. Um, it's not that this bench is bad. I mean, 55 inches, it's pretty good, but it's just, um, I mean, after all, it says 680, but that's at 28 inches of vacuum. If you do 55 inches, you're gonna flow less. You're like, why don't you use a super flow? Super flow wouldn't even come close to this. I'll be lucky if I can get 40 out of that turd. And yeah, I said it. Anyway, uh, uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to stop there, but let's look at the results real quick. I'll pull this down so you can kind of take a peek. Mm, report, make report. So let's go through this. That's before, that was the days before whenever the clay was different. So the numbers are slightly different. This is 900, that's one. So you can tell they're down, they just are. And that, like I said, it's really good. It could actually be, I swear it's the clay. Um, Anyway, uh, if you look, 336, that's at 28 inches. That's 40, uh, 45, 50, and then 55. So you can see it drop there. But I'm, like I said, if you just look at the trend, it's really gaining um, till there at 55 inches. And you might say, well, look, your port's backing up. And I think it's the clay. So it feels like this is almost a pointless test because I didn't have a machine entry, so I can't take that variable out but at least you got to see what it does when the flow goes higher as far as um, depression. So um, it definitely didn't back up. I'm like, yeah, it did. Let's assume, let's pretend that the clay is right. It went from 341.2 to 340. That's a loss of one. If it really had a turbulence issue as far as speed wise, it'll drop like 20. So I think the port's pretty stable. Um, assuming, let's assume that the clay is right. That's what happened. Otherwise, you look at it, it looks as if the vacuum increases, it actually flows more. So, because I mean, you look at the nine hammer number for sure. Now the um, one inch number, 343, 347, definitely gained, then lost, but then back up again. So you can see why the clay kind of gives me an idea of this, something with the clay, because why would this number stay the same but this one increase? I think it's my clay is acting up, but gives you something to think about. I will redo this test at some point 
with a machine entry so I could take this out of the equation as far as the clay being sucked in and trying to move and skew the numbers. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.